Hey guys, recently I was surfing the web and I found an amazing looking little car and that's this. So this is like a sand buggy or a quad thing going on there and on the pictures this thing really looked amazing. So I bought one and in today's video we're going to find out if it's worth the money. <laughs> So guys, this is an all new release by Pinecone Models. And as you know, Pinecone Models make very nice cars, but sometimes they are a little bit more, it depends on the model. But this thing really looks promising. So on the images on the web, this thing just looks superb. And now when I see it in real time, it's even better. So if you look at the box, so it's 4x4 drive system. It's got shark, so that's pretty nice. It's got a servo, that's pretty handy if you want to steer. And it's got full functions, so not sure what they mean but uh, yeah let me get everything out of the box and show you what's inside here Inside the box you will find the car, we've got a transmitter, we've got some instructions, we've got some panels which you can put on the side of the car, we've got some fenders, we've got a 2S lithium ion battery, we've got some tools and a USB charger. So let's start with the remote and the remote has got an okay feel to it, it's a bit plasticky but it's capable of one hand driving, it's got a foam wheel and yeah it's okay. So you need to supply 4 AAA batteries of your own, on the top you will have your on off switch, you've got your steering trim and your steering dual rate so this is supposed to be your channel 3 and this is for controlling the lights and this switch over here has got channel number 4 written down there and this is for the speed so all the way to the left is 50% in the middle is 75% and all the way to the right is 100% throttle Here's the car guys and I think that this thing really looks amazing. Remember this car just cost around 70 bucks or something. I'm not sure anymore but I will put the link down below. And for the money this thing just looks superb. They added a ton of small details which I really like. If you look at the rear for example this compartment can be opened. And if you look inside the car you've got a very detailed interior. And this red thing is actually your on off button. So I really like that. So if we look at the front of the car you can see some headlights the same in the rear you've got some tail lights and you've got some very nice suspension so the shocks are actually friction shocks or so no oil shocks and everything is just fixed so you cannot do any adjustments of the of the suspension or uh, anything and if you look over here you've got some plastic drive lines but i thought that i saw a bearing inside here and the same in the rear so that's a that's a good thing and if you look underneath the car everything is made of plastic but it feels very sturdy so that's a uh, that's a good thing if you look at the rear of the car you can see the trailing arms and they feel okay and you can also see the plastic driveline right over there so to mount a battery you've got a little compartment right over here you've got a tiny knob so you can turn the knob to open the battery compartment and you can just slide in your battery so let me turn everything on and put some batteries inside the transmitter and then i will come back to you the car is powered on and look at the light guys this is just looking superb so it's got a fully working light system so we've got indicators in the front and in the rear and we also have got reverse light and brake light so let's show you the reverse light sorry the brake light and this is the reverse light so you've got a fully working light system in there so i really like that so throttle wise this is at 50 percent 75 and a hundred. So I don't think that this is the fastest car and the drive line is a bit noisy but uh, yeah let's take it outside for a drive. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So guys, that was the driving with the pine cone models, the SG1205. And do I like this car? Mm, well, yeah. It, appearance wise, this thing is a killer. I just loved how it looks. But uh, electronic wise, it isn't the best. And it isn't very fast. And it isn't very capable. I just looked it up. I paid around 100 bucks or something. I will put a link down below so you can uh, check it out for yourself. But for, for the money, I think there are better cars out there with uh, faster performance and better electronic and a better drive line but overall appearance wise I think this car really is a killer so the battery lasted around eight minutes so it isn't the best but uh, yeah it is what it is guys all right thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel guys if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and thank you for watching I will see you in the next video bye bye